So when you store documents in OneDrive, you also have the ability to share these documents with other people. And you can share it in a number of different ways. You can share it so that the person who's receiving it has editing rights to the document, or you can turn that off. Or you can share this with everybody in your organization, or you can set it so that anybody outside your organization can view the document and perhaps edit or not edit. So let's get started. So I'm going to scroll through my OneDrive, and I'm in OneDrive online, by the way. I went to office.com, logged in, and then I clicked on the app launcher, and I went to OneDrive. So let's say, for example, this is the document that I want to share. So by hovering on the name of this document, I see three dots in the corner, and when I click on that, it gives me all of these different options to select from. So I'm going to select Share. Now the default option when sharing, it says people in our domain can edit this. Right now, nobody can do anything by default. Any document you create in OneDrive is private. Um, but if I wanted to make a change to this, what I can do is click on this and you can see there are four options to choose from as to how you want to share this. So anyone with the link means anyone, regardless of whether they are in our domain, meaning they have a Limburg Public Schools email address or not, would be able to view this document. And right now they would also be able to edit it. So this is something to be careful with because this is always on by default. So if I wanted to share this with everybody, let's say I want to post this on the website so that uh, parents, students, anybody could see it, regardless of whether they had our uh, domain email address, they would be able to view this document. If I wanted to, let's say, share this with specific people and I wanted to give them editing rights because we're going to be collaborating on a document, I could select specific people. Again, allow editing is optional. It will be on by default. But if I click allow editing and then I start typing in the email address of somebody in our domain, it will automatically start to populate with people. And all I need to do is click on them. If there's just somebody that is not part of one of the public schools domain, you would have to type out their email address here in full. And you can see here there is an option for a message. So I could type in a message. Here's the document that I said I was going to share. You don't have to put anything in there, but you can. And if I hit send, what that will do is they'll get an email notification that this document has been sent to them. Another way to do this instead of hitting send here is you can actually just copy the link. If you have other information that you want to include in an email, what you can do is copy this link. A link will be generated based on the permissions that you set. And then you can copy this link, open up the email, whichever you use, Outlook, whatever, and you can paste that in there. And then when you send that email to the person or persons, um, they will be able to open it, assuming you have set the permissions for them to open it. So that is the easiest method to share documents within your OneDrive.